Hey everybody, Dishadar here, and uh, hey, <laughs> hey YouTube, back again after, what, six, seven, a year nearly of not posting anything. Um, my channel's been quite short on videos, and um, there's a reason why. Um, I sure want to take this time to just talk about it, if you guys will bear with me and listen, because it's been a long time coming, and I thought... If I'm going to finally get some closure, I should let everybody know, you know, all like 120 or 130 of you, small community, but still love, you know, every single one of you guys who subscribed and those who just watched my video, shared it. Um, I really do appreciate it, but, you know, the time came, has come finally where I'm like, you know, it's everything, it's over. Um, it's weird actually saying Dishadar here because I haven't even uttered that name in what seems like a year, year and a half. Um, and it does suck. You know, and I think when I look back at my past videos and just see when I was like, my face was so skinny and I had like a higher pitch voice because I was obviously a lot younger um, from the first time that I made my first video up until now, it's like, that was like, what, 2013? 40, 50, 60, 70, quick math. That was four years ago since I made my first video, period, on YouTube. And it's weird just looking at how much I've grown. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, thanks for being there for the ride, but unfortunately, Dishadara is no more both as a video channel and with me being pagan um you know i don't have anything against paganism it's just that i felt that eventually you know i'm gonna fall out of it for whatever reason and you know it, it finally came to be um I really liked it. It helped me when I was going through very difficult times. I can tell you that um, I struggled with, you know, with the average, you know, the normal thing your average teenager goes through, you know, first convert, you know, families against you, um, with me uh, specifically, you know, I had to deal with a lot of abuse um, growing up, and I can definitely say that paganism definitely got me through it. Like the community that I had um, from, I don't know if all you guys know, some of you guys from back in the day will know, but people who were part of Rose Wicket, Wicca Coven, dot co dot uk, um, that was by far the highlight of my pagan life. I was finding that place when I was in, what, high school, early high school, I found it. And from then all the way up until me doing my first dedication ceremony, which I still remember from me making my first outside ritual area, from me making all the improvements, having to move it to and from one place in the woods to the other place in the woods, to doing my first holiday out there, my everything, having my first official altar. Like, I remember making it and how it took hours to get it oh oh my god especially the newest one uh, that you guys will see in the video like the previous videos it's it's really it, you know it, it kind of sucks when you know you have to leave um I'll, I'll probably do a clip of it um but just seeing it it's like damn like, that was me, you know? And it sucks to go, to leave the people that, you know, I used to talk to, making these videos, doing my research, all that shit. Like, oh, God, I loved it so much. Um, but let's move on. Why am I leaving? Why are you leaving, Gishtar? After all this time... You know, from making Circle of the Divine, you know, to 
everything like what is my path what was my journey and if you guys will bear with me I like to tell you my story uh, when I used to be pagan a while ago um, it all started <laughs> it all started uh, with one of my friends my best friend he's still my best friend uh, he happened to mention Wicca to me and I was like what what the hell is Wicca like I, I didn't know what that was and he explained it to me. And I, the first thing I thought was what everyone thinks, every outsider thinks, as soon as they hear it is, is that like devil worship? And he was like, no, it's not devil worship. Um, and he told me what it was. And I was like, huh, okay. Uh, I remember it was in the summer. And, you know, after the conversation, I didn't think much of it. I just kept on moving on with life. And then when I... You know, like a year later, six months later, um, I remember I, you know, I happened to look it up. I was like, I remember, you know, he was talking to me about Wicca. I wonder what it is. So then I looked it up, started doing research on the computer, and then I was like, oh, that's interesting. You know, once I saw the belief, and because I never heard of something like that, like ever, ever, never in my life. You know, being nature worshiping, they believe in two different deities, like two different gods. No, god and goddess. You know, some believe in a triple god, the triple goddess. Um, no, actually, no, with Wicca, it's the triple goddess and the consort, which is seen as Sununos, or it depends on your different, uh, your pantheon, whatever path you decide you walk on with paganism. You can see the consort, the god, as many different things, you know, it goes by different names depending on your tradition. But, um, you know, I thought it was interesting. So I went through the beliefs, how they believe in animism, that everything that exists has some kind of spirit. Um, they believe in ghosts. They believed in the supernatural. They believed in oneness with the earth. You know, all these different things. And it drew me to it like, this is what I believe. Like, I honestly believed it. Even, you know, like, I had no idea, and it seemed so perfect, and it was, you know, it was really good. I can't lie, you know, even though I am a different religion, I can't lie about who I used to be, because I can't invalidate my past, you know. I was pagan, I'm different now, but I still have a lot of good memories of it, you know. Um, so I did my research. I remember printing out a bunch of papers. It was like this thick. I had a binder this thick. Actually, the binder was this thick. The paper was this thick. Um, just about all the holidays, the belief system, different gods, different goddesses, everything, the different rules. Like, I had everything. That was way, way back. And I read through it and it just felt like this is me. This is This is who I am. Um, and I felt so strongly in it, but, you know, I remember doing my first, my first ritual to, um, anoint myself as a follower of the gods. I remember that. <laughs> I don't want to go into too much detail with everything. Um, to those who know me personally, you know, uh, the stories, and it was very enlightening, very different and strange. But I loved it nonetheless. Um, when I did my first dedication ceremony, I remember that, you know? I remember when I did it, how I did it, the whole situation. When I did my first meditation, that was very strange, but nonetheless, like, it was, it felt nice. Um, and from me having my first ritual to me having my last ritual before I left to go into the military, everything, I was, I loved it. All the memories, like, I remember when I made my first altar. Oh, my God. Like, it was so nice, like, just planning and just seeing it all come together. The different times I had to move it because of either kids or, you know, the area would flood too much or whatnot. Just, I remember setting everything up and just how enthused I was to know that I made this. No one made this. I made this. I made it. Like, 
I remember my last altar, the one that you would see on my um, my more my more recent video posts uh, about the altar. That was my last one. That took all day to make. Those logs that you guys saw, those were at least a hundred pounds, and I was a little kid. Like you could see in the videos, I was scrawny. You know, I don't think I'm that scrawny now, but back then. Um, yeah, I was, you know, a scrawny kid, but I was like, I was doing it. I was getting it, you know, rolling those logs, picking them up. It was a hundred pounds. It took hours. But then when I finally got everything set up, I'm like, bam, did it. Um, you know, uh, things started to fall through though. You know, um, I did everything, the to lay the establishment, lay down the foundation, what I thought, you know, I went ahead and I, you know, had the different rules, you know, what to do, what not to do, you know, how I see, you know, God, the, you know, different deities, how they fit into everything, you know, different prayers, I would do everything, like, I had all that info, you know, all of it, and I practiced it, but then it thing that really got me before I even left was that I was alone and it killed me inside because no one really I, there wasn't really a community around me you know I had to I remember I had to scrounge for money you know I didn't do anything illegal by no means you know but it's just I remember the times where I had to struggle just to save up a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. You know, getting five dollars was a big thing. Um, Cause I, I didn't have any books. Internet access was extremely limited for me. Cause I grew up in a strict household. My mom knew who I was, what I was. And um, I could say she did her best to try and make sure that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gonna do it. At least at, least at the very minimum amount that she couldn't help, you know. But if she had something to say about it, no. And it was a big fight throughout the, like, what, three or four years, no, five years before I left, I think, um, to minimize it. But eventually she did, you know, I think she, at a certain point, just gave up because she knew she wasn't gonna stop me. This is what I wanted. Um, and it sucks, but the thing that really killed it for me was the lack of community, the lack of access. Like I stayed strong, but at a certain point you just get tired of fighting. And you know, there have been times where like an entire year would pass with me celebrating one, one ritual, doing one ritual, celebrating one holiday. And you just get tired because it's like, what else do I do? I, d I don't know what else I should do right now. Like. I already have all the prayers for when I go to bed, for when I wake up, before I eat to give thanks, what to say during certain holidays, different God associations to make during this ritual, that ritual, whatever ritual. But at a certain point, I just was like, I needed something else, I needed more. Not as far as a different religion, but I needed different people. I needed people, but it was so hard to find. And with everything going on with me, I couldn't find anything. And I just felt alone. And a lot of the practices and the beliefs that I fit in, you know, it was an issue. You know, like, I didn't believe. And, like, tarot cards in a little aspect, like, it literally tells you what your future's gonna hold. I didn't believe that. With witchcraft, I didn't believe that, you know. It, I had a different mindset, and it kind of hurt. You know, um, it sucked because you know, these different movements would come through and I was like, it's fine if you believe in it, but I was tired of seeing people who happen to be pagan who, for example, didn't believe necessarily in the LGBT um, community, you know. It's not that they were attacking gay people, it's just they didn't think it was natural. There were some people who thought that, not me, but some people thought that. And it was just sad to see like how vicious other pagans were and just tearing them apart, accusing them of one atrocity after the other, making them seem like terrible human beings. And it's like, 
yo, this guy just has a different belief system from you. Like, it's not that, like, it's not like he's attacking them. He's not saying they're invalid. He's just saying, you know, I respect your right to believe and do what you want to do, but it's just, I don't believe in it. And it was merciless, the constant defense against Christianity and attacks. It was saddening to see that so many Wiccans, so many pagans would just go after pagans, uh, not after pagans, I'm sorry, uh, would go after Christians and attack them and make fun of them and all that. And it's like, but why? We're being no better than them, you know? And every religion, no religion is perfect. Every religion has its problems, you know, mind you. You know, I'm not saying that, oh, it's all paganism's fault, but, you know, there are some things that I didn't like. And with any faith, if you hold an unpopular opinion, then you're going to be attacked and ridiculed for it. It doesn't matter if it's Christianity, if it's paganism, Buddhism, Islam, Shinto, Satanism, whatever, because that's what the people do. It's the people's fault. It's not the religion's fault. But I just felt like everyone was still stuck in. Not everyone, because I have to give the community credit where it's due. I felt like a lot of the people, though, were just so into Christianity's the enemy. Those like, can we move beyond that mindset and move to how are we going to grow the community? You know, we're a relatively young religion. We got to move past this. And I just felt like everyone was kind of just static on it. A lot of the people. Um, you had the same. You had people who were just like, you know, thinking ahead, not thinking on that. But I guess from where I was and my mindset and my mentality, that's just all I saw. Um, which it was a big turn off. And overall, I just felt like I didn't belong because I had such a different mindset. Um, I was supposed to when I moved. I was supposed to start growing, start laying the foundation for me so that once I actually came back, you know, decided to move back um, home or closer to home that, you know, I'd be established. I'd know this is what I want to do because I'd have the money, I'd have the time, I'd have the resources to come back and just be like, bam, baby. But that didn't work out. You know, even now, like there have been times in the past, you know, in the near past that I thought about going back and like, how would it be if I went back? How would it be if I decided I'm gonna go back to being Dishadar? And when I thought about it, it's like, I think it's like too little too late now because I just don't feel like, as of right now, I don't feel like I'd be going anywhere. Not because of the faith itself, but because of my relation to the faith is the problem. It's not the faith, it's me. And I know it sounds like any old breakout routine, you know. It's not you, it's me. But you have to identify there are certain deficiencies within the faith that I find don't work for me. And sometimes you just got to know when to let go. And for me, you know, that time came a, while, a little while ago. So I do apologize for not posting a video on it, but it happened, you know. So how do we move on? What's going to happen now? Um, as far as... As far as the video is concerned, my channel, I'll keep it up still. Um... I think it'll be, it's a good testament to my past. You know, I don't think I should take out the education, how little or much, depending on who you are and your opinion of my content. I don't think that I should erase that for people. You know, like the Theban one, for example, the Theban video. I haven't seen a Theban, well, at that time, because I haven't searched recently, I haven't seen another Theban video that at least goes in depth as mine does. And that's not to toot my own horn, it's just because it's useful info for people who want to know more about paganism. You know, I do plan to talk about it in a different channel that I'm making with a whole new identity, you know. But I don't want Dishadar to just be Dishadar. 
you know, that is a name and a channel that I've had since the beginning. And I want to make a new future, a new present for myself. So I want to keep the channel up for any newcomers or any established ones who just want to look at my video, give me their opinion and, you know, see what they want to say, you know. But other than this video, um, I really have no use of continuing to update the content. So the information, the videos will stay here, but there won't be any future video posts referencing my belonging to paganism because that chapter in my life has ended. Now that doesn't mean that I hate, you know, pagans or I hate, you know, paganism as a religion or Wicca or any variation thereof. It's just that I know when it's my time to leave and I feel like I should leave. Um, I know the obvious question will be, so what faith did you take up? Um, I'd actually rather keep that private this time. Um, for those who know me from my website that I used to have, Circle of the Divine, don't think I forgot about you, because I didn't. Um, I am going to actually open up a new site. Um, I already have it, you know, the account made and everything. I just need to start putting in the information, but I'm going to make do on my promise to come back. Um, to make a new site, you know, once I shut Circle of the Divine down, you know, and the reason why I shut it down for those who don't know is because I didn't have any money. Like, at the time, it was like, it cost money that I didn't have. Even like, what, 10, 20, and I was like 20, 30 dollars. I couldn't afford it. Like, I couldn't afford 30 dollars. And I was like, it's, I have to shut it down, you know. And there was an issue because, you know, the, the community would start, you know, to dry up. People weren't being active. Um, I had quite a lot of people. But the issue was just that I don't have money to do any research. I don't have internet access to do more research, to put more content. And I was like, it sucked so bad because I put so much work into that site just to have to close it. But I was broke, you know. Like, my mom didn't care. I didn't have a job. I couldn't... I wasn't allowed to get a job. So... I had to do the ultimate decision. and I've been trying on and off to get Circle of the Divine back up. Not in that name, but a different name. But, you know, I've been going through a lot of different things at work and whatnot. Nothing bad, just, you know, being an adult. You know, you got things you got to take care of, you got to work. And it's not like the work is killing me. It's just that, you know, it falls by the wayside. You know, I'm trying to do a lot of different things for myself and just decide it's a lower priority. So with that being said, it's just, you know, I had to make my choice. But you will see me again. Um, if you're still pagan with the, from now until like three years from now, let's say, let's give a good rough estimation a nice broad estimation. If you're still pagan within the three years, if you still have a Witch Vox account, I will be back in contact with you. Not right now. And I may have left the faith. I may not be pagan, you know, but I'm still gonna bring up Circle of the Divine. Not as Circle of the Divine, but as a new site. I'm going to have a new video channel. I do have a new video channel. So, I want to see, actually, and I know it's, it sounds a little bit childish, maybe, but I want to see if you guys can find me, my new identity, my, my new channel. Um, you probably will. Especially if I do what I want to do, because I have the resources, I have the money, I have the resources and everything, but 
if you guys can end up uh, finding my new YouTube and down the road finding my new site I want to see let me know it's like just give, send me a private message like aren't you Dishadara and I'd be like congratulations you found me <laughs> but let's do that in private if you know if you end up finding me down the road just say send me a private message like aren't you Dishadara I remember you but We'll see what happens. And it may never happen, but I think that'd be a good game um, to have. So, without further ado, um, thank you guys for everything. You know, I like to thank pa paganism for everything, the community for everything. Like, I have a lot of good memories that I will still remember because they got, you know, paganism and the pagans within. Like, you guys got me through a lot of dark, dark times with my family, and I am forever indebted to paganism, you know? Whether or not my faith likes them or not, that's not my problem. I still love you guys. The faith has its place in my heart, but I know when to go. But I don't go with a hard heart. I still love you guys, man. And... I'm going to remember you guys when I open my new site. I'm going to remember you guys as I post my videos, my old identity as Dishadar, and move on to a different identity and a different YouTube, a different place, different life from where I lived growing up. I can definitely say that I'm alive today because of my past faith. Because if were it not for that, I wouldn't have any hope. I can definitely say that pay, being pagan gave me the hope to keep going, to keep fighting, to keep going forward. So, again, don't think I hate you guys because I don't. Not by any means. But I don't want to keep this video too long. Um, it was nice knowing you guys. I love you guys, all of you. Thanks for the memories. And thank you, whoever's viewing. Sincerely, thank you for taking a part in my life. I'll never forget you guys, and I hope that you guys never forget me. This is Dishadar here. <sighs> Try not to cry. This is Dishadar here. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.